All right, so first of all, sorry if I got your name spelt wrong, Tara. I didn't double check that with your dad before I started building this. So if it is, I can change it on future reports. I'll apologize now, but let's get into this. So we know you had the ACL Rico. You are trying to get some speed back after that. Um, rugby league, I left touch in there just because I'm assuming you do only because your brother does. Um, but let's get into that. Just how much that heel is coming to your hips there with a very low knee, and you're sort of backwards cycling, right? And your arms are doing this cycle motion as well, more so than a swinging motion. Right. Let's look at this piece by piece. So and this toe off looks nice and strong. But the problem is just how far away the back leg is. And this is something similar we saw with your brother. Um, we've got this really, really big um, push off or drive forward. We need that to be a shorter length between your hip and your toe. So you should be trying to push more in an upwards direction than just this flat out straight direction. And I know it sounds counterintuitive. Right. Um, now, at this point here, we're still not too bad. Maybe on that right side, that heel's starting to get the same level as the calf, but it's not too bad. Right? But now this becomes where our problem is, right? So that knee's staying pretty low, and that foot's starting to creep up. And you'll start to notice as we go through these swings, your um, left and right sides are quite different. Here we go again. So if you look at where that, on the left hand diagram, that right foot strike's actually closer to the hips. That left foot strike is on the right diagram, I know this is confusing, is further away from the hips. But both have this really, really low knee and really, really high foot. Oh, the other thing, obviously, to point out is both of them are in front of the hips and they're landing with a bent knee. This is the same again. I've just zoomed in on the right one a bit more so we can see this. So there's more than a 20 degree gap between the thighs. 100% obvious on the right hand side. I don't know if it is quite as obvious on the left, but I've left it there anyway, and we could definitely shorten up that stride. Um, touchdown was obviously in front of the hips as well, but the rest was good. And then full support, we're landing with that bent knee and ankle. Now, this is your scorecard here, and you'll be able to look at that. Scores are reasonably similar to your brother, and we've just got to worry about you've got some crossbody arm swing. You are overstriding, so we need to work on shortening up that ground contact and the speed of the leg swing. Look at the differences more between your left and right. Um, some of the leg cycling that we went through the other day, I'll get you the videos of those soon, um, but you can see the clear differences of those. Any questions, let me know.